Well, here we go again for this week's fun. So what I've got is I've put that front bumper back up into place. And you can see where I've moved that gap to now. And I did take a couple of pictures of the before I moved this. I'll show you the other side. So I'll put the pictures in, show you where I started from, and I'll show you what I did on the inside. As I ground back, you can see the pencil line, that's just kind of my guide ground back into the edge that they had on there, allowing it to sink back in. Same on the other side, a little more difficult to see, but at least that let me move it back in. And next, you'll be able to see there's a little wee ridge. Well, not, it's, it's probably eighth of an inch or so high and 3 sixteenths of an inch wide. So what I'm gonna do is take the bumper off again. I'm gonna clean that ridge all off there <coughs> so it's not interfering with my sense of feel, I guess you'd say. So I know where it is. So I will clean that all off. We'll remount it back up here. See what it looks like. I've been playing with this front bumper just a little more. One of the things I did is I took the block and ran it all around these black mount or back mounting surfaces just to knock the gobs of uh, gel coat off and the high spots. And I also put it up in place. I put a hole on both ends right on the very outside corners. You can see those, which match up to these holes here on each corner. And I also cut a small slit in the back of the mounting surface. So let me throw it up in place and I'll bring you right back. Back on again and I bolted both those outside corners and then once I had it back on you'll remember I cut the slit down the back side. I also cut a slit right down through the center and through that back lip there and then leaned on it I've only got clamps there now, it's not bolted, but I'm pretty much on flush. Now, if I bolt it, I, can, I know I can put it there. So, all that leaves me with, it's hard to see, but I've got some gaps. A lot better than where I started. Got to get in the right angle. And I don't know how well this is going to show up, but if you can see that fiberglass in there, you can't very well. At the top, there's a slight gap, and then as it comes down, it's opening up. So what I'm going to do is carve that lip back. If i got to build it up later, I will. But to tighten that gap up, and then these top corners, the only way I'm going to fix those is to build this back side up, which I'll do with fiberglass. So it wasn't quite as terrible as I thought it was going to be, but I'm not done yet either. So I'll keep going, trimming, cutting, hacking, and I'll bring you back later on. Has anybody ever woke up in the morning and thought to themselves, sure would be nice to do some fiberglass today? Nah, me either. So what I've been up to is filling in these bottom corners which I ground out to let the bottom of the bumper go back. And I put two layers in there. And you'll see this stuff here, that is my version of release agent. It's also known as wax paper. So I did the both, same on both sides. And then where I cut through the center, I've put a single layer on the face and then in behind, Yesterday, I put two layers in behind approximately, oh, that wide. So, 
with that being three layers, it's got more in it than it was when it was made. So that won't be an issue. And all I did is ground through the gel coat. As you can see, I've got a piece of another piece of wax paper here because I wrapped around the bottom and well, gravity was winning. So anyway, I just ground back, cleaned the gel coat off and then tapered it out. So that'll be easy enough to clean up. And once that dries, I will uh, pull the bumper off again and start working on the ends. So I'll bring you back then. I've kind of forgotten where I videoed last. Guess I could look at it, but anyway, what I'm up to is you'll see the gap that I've still got in these top corners and you'll see it's all masked up. So what I'm doing is I'm filling in behind here using short hair fiberglass. And I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So what I'm doing is leaving the bumper loose enough that I can pry it out, filling it with fiberglass and then sucking the bolts in so that it makes its own form. So I'll get the other side done, let them dry up, take it off, show you what it is. So at the end of all that, I've pulled the bumper off and what I've ended up with is a mold that fills that corner. It's going to take some a little bit of cleanup, but that's okay. And it'll fit exactly into that corner. And the release agent today, scotch tape, does the trick. So I'll keep playing with this and see what happens. Bring it back later. I took a look back to see where I videoed last and apparently it's a while ago. So where I am now, I've got my two outside corners fitting pretty decent. Got the center sucked down. Give you a look at this one. And I will pull this off and show you everything that I've done. So with the bumper off now, <clears throat> you can see kind of kind of an opaque area, or I'm not sure what you want to call it, but what that means, I've burnt through the gel, the gel coat into the fiberglass. And I was actually afraid of burning all the way through. So what I did is I added the layers on the back side so I had more meat so I could get it into the shape of the car. Did that same on both ends. Like I told you before, the center section, I doubled up on that. So that's all ready to go other than to clean up just the edges. And then up the front, I've put the rebar back on, got it all lined up. And there has to be a, a difference in that front bumper, the shape of it or something. But um, to make it fit with that bumper in place, this is the support brackets. I elongated these slots out about a half inch to allow these brackets to come back to allow that rebar to move back so it will clear the bumper. So this game's not over yet. I've got some cleanup to do. And my mounting, I still haven't come to my final decision out of 22 ideas. So I think we'll cut this video here. It's getting way too long. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time.